We're at Goddington House in Kent and this is the first view that you get as you enter the park. The mellow gabled house, its gables reflected you can see in the way the yew hedge around the garden is scalloped into the same gabled shapes. Now once in the garden you can really appreciate the symmetry of these wonderful hedges and the lumpy box hedging of the pan gardens as it's called at one end of the great main sweep. The important thing about Goddington is the garden laid out by the famous Edwardian architect and designer Reginald Bloomfield, who worked here around the turn of the century. One of Bloomfield's most impressive additions to Goddington House was the formal lily pool in the bottom corner, which he dug and designed. It's fed from the springs in the park, which he discovered, and he channeled the supply of water down to the pool. One of the garden's most delightful small spaces is the Italian garden which you enter through this rather wonderful colonnade with figures of the, f the four continents and inside it's, it's small and peaceful. But this time of year it's not particularly Bloomfield's formal garden that is the chief glory, it's the wild garden which as you can see is filled with a positively Wordsworthian carpet of daffodils. From the long border we're now in the wall garden, an enormous space given over to for much of the year for different flowers and lots of vegetables and on the far side is the very impressive glass house. I think we're going to go in there for, to warm up for a little bit and we can see some of the more exotic plants which um, some stay in here for displays all through the summer and others get taken into the house. There's a rather wonderful orange clivia here and quite a few pelargoniums and then of course some fantastic lush foliage. One of the really enjoyable things at Goddington is the way that the rather quirky buildings close to the house, this courtyard with cottages and in, inside it, are all part of the whole building ensemble and we're going to go into part of it to warm up with some tea and as you can see, delicious scones and cake and feeling refreshed, we can head off. <laughs>